do it fast. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, subscribers of all ages. Oh, hang on. We are live. We are live, are we? Yeah. No, but you're in the chat. Yeah, I'm in the chat. Yeah, I'm not. I know. Don't say hello to me because I'm not in the chat. I will be before the end, but I've got a one-to-one -one session booked in. Mm. At seven o'clock. Oh. Uh, I might put this live half past. That side, yeah. Anyway, oh, welcome. Yeah, <laughs> Mel's in the chat. Might cut some of these bits out. Um, welcome to the Monday Night Fitness, or maybe not so much fitness. Exercise. Exercise. Just something to get people moving, get you warmed up, get you stretched off, get your joints moving, because I am a level two qualified fitness instructor um, through the New Skills Academy. <laughs> you got a certificate. I've got a certificate. Um, so, and this is free as well. There's no scam. There's nothing going on here. It's just free fitness. You're welcome to come in and train. Um, there's no, there's no caveat to come in and train in. It's all free. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of a warm up, a little bit of a stretch off, and then we might do a little bit of abs and a little bit of legs. What do you think? Okay. Oh, do you want to do some upper body? Do you want to do some arms? Yes. Do you want to do upper body? Yours Okay, we're going to do upper body, um, but you will need a little bit of weight. Um, so you can use, um, you can use carrier bags with a little bit of weight in, you can use tins in your hands, you can use uh, water bottles, yeah, anything like so. These are like water bottles, these are really good actually, um, because you can use these like they're dumbbells, they've got handles on them. Um, so one of these with um, full of water is about a kilo and a half. Um, so they're, they're quite a good idea. Okay, so we'll do, we're going to do some arms then today. Um, so we only really need to warm up the upper body. Okay. Don't really need to do too much else. Look at this. None of that, none of the twisting and turning today. No we're, just, we're just gonna get the blood rotating in the arms, so we're just gonna move the arms. And what we're gonna do, we'll work out today, we'll do um, a bit of shoulders, uh, a bit of biceps, and a bit of triceps. So um, arms and shoulders. So we're just gonna rotate just to make sure we've got a little bit of um, blood pumping into our arms. So just rotate along with us. Did we just bang knuckles then? <laughs> we did, didn't we? We didn't mean to. Hope everyone's had a good Monday. Um, let us know in the chat how you're feeling, how you're getting on, because we are in the chat, or one of us is in the chat. I might be in the chat, I don't know, it depends on this guy shows up or not. Just one at a time, nice and loose. And they didn't teach me these warm ups when I did my level one level two. Now I already knew these because I've got 25 years experience working in gym huh? and doing exercise. So I kind Why of do know. You hold it? What? Why do you hold it? I like to feel the muscle moving, I like to feel the movement, I like to know that if I'm if I'm lifting here. I know what muscles activate into when I'm training my my muscles later. I'll know it's stuff you pick up when you've got 25 years experience working in gyms and the fitness industry. You're not just going to college for two years to get a certificate. It's one of the things that you find out. So we're just going to do some crossovers. Stretch those shoulder blades at the back there, forward and back. Now, when we're training muscles, this stuff's all right, and you'll see people doing this before they go into the lift the weights and rotating their shoulders and. It's all good, so just rotate your shoulders. Because you're getting blood into the muscles and we're getting moving. Um, and we are gonna stretch off. So you want blood in the muscles before you stretch off. Um, we've talked about this before. So it's like the, um, I like to twist my wrists a little bit as well, um, just because if we're gonna be lifting weight, I say heavy weight, but heavy weight relative to you. So my heavy weight might be different to your heavy weight. Um, and I just think that, Use the analogy before of um, blue tack. If blue tack's not warm and you pull it, it snaps. If blue tack's nice and warm, if you stretch it off first, uh, sorry, warm up first and then stretch it off, it goes elastic and your muscles are a bit like that. So if you try and stretch them while they're cold, you might ping a muscle. Um, so we're just gonna start off with nice and high up in the air and then hand it down the middle of your back, keep your chin off your chest, hand on your elbow and just push your hand down to the middle of the back. And what you're doing here is you're feeling the stretch down the back of the arm, the, the small three-headed muscle, which is the tricep, um, lateral head, long head, and medial head. I nearly forgot then. Um, I'll be accused of not being a PT. Reach up nice and high, swap over. Chin off your chest, hand down the middle of your back, hand on your elbow. Stay pointing forward. Stretching off the tricep, small muscle at the back of your arm. Tricep, tri, three, because it's got three parts of it. The long head, the lateral head, and the medial head. Stretch up nice and high. Then we're just going to come across the body for a shoulder stretch. Now when you're doing this, 
Above the elbow, we're pulling it in, keeping the arm locked so it's straight, pulling it into the chest. You don't twist your body as you do it. Keep yourself nice and strong. You're on my knee clip, man. On my knee. And shake that shoulder off. And on the side, so we're just stretching the shoulders here, across the back of the shoulder. Now, this is, a, this is harder for me to do, and it's harder sometimes for women to do as well. Like if, you, if you're only here with it, it can be quite difficult. Go up above your boobies and sit on top like that. Don't teach you that in college. Well, yeah, and shake it off. So, we are just going to rotate the hips a little bit. Just because we've got to keep the core strong when we're doing these exercises. Everything we do, we keep the core engaged. When we're curling, when we're doing tricep movements, when we're doing shoulder movements, core's engaged all the time. So, we're just going to loosen off the hips a little bit so we've got better movement. Nice, we like. We don't really need to do this, I just like to watch you doing it. Excellent, and then just let your body hang just a little bit. Stretching the back off a little bit, we're going to stretch the abs off a little bit just because you do use your core for a lot of stuff that you do. That's why you should try and keep your core nice and strong. And roll you back up. Hope everyone's doing well in the chat. Let us know how you've been. What have you been up to? If you've set any goals? If you've had your intentions set for the week? I've got my intentions for the week. Have you got your intentions for the week? Yes. Yes. Some good intentions for this week. Yeah. In the Citadel, with our ranged weapons. <laughs> Archie, back up. Come up nice and straight. Nice. So I take your hips again. Loosen off a little bit now. Okay, so that's the warm up. That's just to get stretched off a little bit. But when we're going to lift, when we're going to lift weights. So if I was going into doing bicep curls, I wouldn't just pick up the the 18 and start curling. I would pick up like the the eight first. Do some curls on the eight, maybe the 10, a few curls, some hammer curls, wide curls, narrow curls, just anything. Just to warm that muscle up so you're not going straight in there with the heaviest weight. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab some small weights from over here. I'm going to give Mel some nice, heavy, one kilo dumbbells. Got them okay? Yeah. Uh, and I'm just going to use the, I'm going to use that. Don't want to show you all. I mean, flipping heck. So, we're going to start off just with some bicep curls. We'll talk you through exactly how we're going to do these when we're going to do them. So we're going to start off with wide curls. Now, I like to have a nice, wide, shoulder width stance. Core's nice and engaged. Twist the weights out so your palms are facing forward. And pin your elbows into your side. Yeah, you've got your elbows pinned into your side. And from here, what you've got to do, without rocking your body forward and back, just curl the weight up to your bicep. Squeeze the muscle at the top, and then lower it back down. We're not coming all the way to lock our arms out. And when we come to the top, we're not like sitting here. So it is just a nice long range of motion, keeping the muscle under tension. You might want to just do one at a time, just to get some movement into the biceps. And that's a wide grip bicep curl with dumbbells. Nice and simple, yeah? So from here, once you're back down, Turn your palms so they're facing outwards. And then you're bringing it up to your chin. Keeping your elbows locked in position. So just bring it here. Don't, don't cock your wrists, you're cocking your wrists. You're going like this. Don't cock your wrists, keep your wrists straight. So you see what she was doing? She was going like this and curling it. Keep the wrists straight and just, just fulcrum it at the elbow like that. And then we can just do a few. Just to get the blood pumping. So this is called a hammer grip dumbbell curl. Yeah? Yeah? Excellent. And then we're gonna go into the middle. So we're here, so we've had the palms out here. We've had hammer grip. Now from the hammer grip, we just put palms out, pin your elbows into your body again, so you're, so you're not rocking. Core engaged, and then we're curling up. It kind of comes to the middle of your body, look there. So that's a close grip dumbbell curl. So they're the three dumbbell curls we're gonna do for biceps. And now you've warmed your muscles up a little bit with a little bit of weight, which is good. So we're gonna do them, and we're gonna do some shoulder work. Okay, so we're gonna do lateral raises, front raises, and 
dumbbell presses. So, lateral raises to the side, core engaged, sorry, you can face the camera, to the side, core engaged, nice and steady, and then you're bringing your elbows up. No, no, I'll show you. The idea is where your elbows come to, not where the weight comes to, elbows up, level with your shoulders, and then back down. That's it. And as you're doing this, so watch, watch my body look. I can be here, but my start position is there. And then I'm keeping all my shoulders engaged while I'm doing it. I'm not stopping at the bottom. I'm not coming up too high. I'm pausing here and back down. And I'm pinning my shoulders back slightly as well. Because some people, you can do side, you can do them from here, shoulders forwards, and you work a different part of the shoulder muscle. But here, targeting much different, a different part of the shoulder. Okay, so there, side raises, we do front raises. So you can do this with a barbell if you want, which is just together, or you can do it with dumbbells. Um, you usually see some people doing them from kind of a neutral grip. We're going to the middle here. Pump your shoulders, engage your core, lift to the front, a bit higher, there, and then back down, but don't rest. Sort of 90% of the way down. There we go. Yep. And then the last one we're going to do is called an Arnold press. So you can do these seated, but we're going to do them standing. So, got them here. And what we're going to do is we're going to drive them up to the ceiling. But as you do, you're going to twist your palms forward. Like this. Got it? I think so. Yeah, there you go. There. Yeah. Don't knock your elbows out and put them above, so they're above your head, not out in front of you. There you go, finish here. Bring them back together. Watch, watch my motion. Up, down. You start to feel it in the top of your shoulder here, yeah? It's a bit further to the ceiling. Nice. So that's three bicep movements, three shoulder movements. Yeah, we're following as I've got some weight. Let us know in the, in the comments if there's anything you need us to help with. We'll get right into the exercises. <laughs> Yeah. You know this bit Japanese, did you? Hiya! Ah! Okay, back to the scheduled filming. So, um, so what we're gonna do now is then we're gonna get straight to the exercises because we don't want the muscles to get cold. So we've stepped up the weight a little bit. Um, I've given you one and a half kilos. If that's not light, if that's too light, let me know. Um, we're gonna do 12 reps. So we've do four sets of 12 reps of each exercise. Disclaimer. What? That wasn't a proper karate kata because I've never done karate. Uh, so you're not a karate instructor then? No, that was just like. That was just you playing. My interpretation. Your interpretation. But I, just... I can speak Japan, 10 Japanese. Oh, awesome. Well done. Is that, is that, are you certified to do that though? Do you have a certificate for that? Because you know that you have to be registered through the Japanese County 10 registration, don't you? Did you know that? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. No. No what? Let's not do that. Why? Because it's like... No, <laughs> oh, the big one! Oh, the big one! Oh, Let it go. Oh. Hello, it's like you passed. They, 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 they were kind of Chinese. They haven't even been trained to do it. <laughs> right, come on. You can't say English as well. So, where did you learn that? That's cool. Cool. I like you. <laughs> did you? Yeah, I've got That's a certificate for that. That's more than some people did. So, a little bit heavier. So we're gonna go with am I 12. Heavier? Yeah. Why am I heavier? Because we're both going heavy because you just did a warm up with the other one. So we're just going with 12 curls. Remember, when we're doing this, we're gonna pin, pin our, our elbows in, because you don't want your elbows to be going backwards and forwards like this. We're gonna pin our elbows in, I'll keeping our core hips. engaged. No. Yeah, I do. I've put them in that gap. Okay, then that's fine. As long as you stay nice and nice and strong. You don't want to be arching your back and leaning back because you'll hurt your back. You want to be nice and straight, spine okay. neutral, core engaged. Lock your arms out, take the strain to the starting position, and then curl 12. What? 11, hmm. 10, Four. 9, Five. 8, Seven. 7, 6. Seven. Make sure you squeeze in the muscle Eight. at the top. 9, 10. 
arms. Doors. <gasps> Did you just go to French? You're not a French teacher, though, are you? So now we're going to rest just for a few seconds. You can put the weights down if you want. Now it's going to rest for a few seconds. Just remember when you're doing this, you're not locking your elbows out when you get to the bottom, you're keeping it under tension. You're not coming all the way up, just sort of 90% of the way up, 90% of the way down. So you're keeping the muscle under tension all the time. Um, make sure you keep core engaged as well. I will keep saying that. You, you're going to have to pick that up again in a minute, so only having a quick rest in yeah. between. Um, working the bicep, which is the, the biggish, the, the biggish muscle. You got the one. <laughs> Said the actress to the bishop. No muscle. No, no, no. I can't put my hand around it. Right, anyway, back into the set. It's gonna go with 12. You count so I can talk, yeah? So nice and controlled as you come up. Can you do it in English, please? Three. Thank you. Four. Keeping the body straight. Remember, Five. what we're not doing is rocking like this. Yeah. That's not what you want to be doing, keeping the body nice and controlled. Yeah. We're doing English, so I know how many we're doing. Ten. Right. Arms. No. Twelve. Oh, I, can't, I can't talk and count at the same time. So I need you to do the counting, but I need to do it in a language I can understand. Okay, I'll do it in English. I can barely understand English most of the time. Don't do it in German either. I need to be able to know where we're at. Honestly. Oh, I'm only joking. Don't. It's not. This isn't like a domestic violence thing. I'm not bullying. I'm not bullying you. Was that unwanted touch? It was honestly. It wasn't unwanted last night. No, I know it wasn't. You said, "Oh, please." We scratch my shoulder for me. So just a little bit of rest. Yeah. Just a little bit of rest. Thirty seconds in between the sets. So we're going to go again. We're going to go for four more of these. You ready? No, 12 more, please in English, please normal. Okay, let's go. So, one, pull up, squeeze, two at dry. the top. Three, dry. Don't lock out of the bottom, don't rock your body as you go. Nice and controlled. Dumbbell, bicep curls. Nine. Nice and easy. Ah, oh, it's 12, isn't it, we're doing? Yeah, yeah. That's what happens when you count, stupid. <laughs> so, we've got one more set of them to do, so we're just going to rest for a little bit. We'll do one more set of them, then we're going to go into shoulders, because we're going to do biceps, shoulders, biceps, shoulders, biceps, shoulders. What time is the next interval? From when we come out. So, about 25 to about 50 minutes. Be that back. Ten minutes, I'll say. How long would you record? Everybody will come for five minutes. Yeah, we're only recording five, so we're gonna have that time. Um... Right, so is this set three or set four? Four. Set four, our last set of these ones then. We did twelve again, are we ready? One. Nice and controlled. Two. Now, if you can do 12 easy, then you need to be up in your weight. How are you feeling with that weight? Yeah, it's really heavy. Don't want to cheat it, because then you're only cheating yourself. But if you can do 12 really easy, you could do like 20, then you want to go up your weight. I'm doing that. Well, good. So I can do 12 really easy with them, but I am feeling my biceps a little bit. Can you feel that in your biceps? Yeah. Don't bullshit me. Oh, my microphone. your microphone still off when you went outside? No. Why did you turn it off? No, because you went out of the way. Oh, God, they can hear me. Yeah, they can. They'll pick you up through the mic. You sure? Well, your, your mouth is nearly as close to my microphone as my mouth is to your microphone. So they should be able to hear you okay. So that's that's them ones done. Um, now we're going to go into side raises. We'll do 12 of these. I'm going to talk through it. You're going to count. Okay, to 12. Are you okay doing that? I'm asking you nicely in your consent. So, position we're going for, just without the weight for a second. Core engaged, hands by the sides, shoulders engaged. See, we loose, what and we can do them, we can, well, we can do them like that. Watch my shoulders, watch. Tense. That's actually tense, actually tense in your upper body, tense in your shoulders, 
holding my core, everything's nice and tight. And then I will have my legs together when I do it. So I like to get that kind of that feel there. And then I will just here, yeah? So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do 12 of them. I'm gonna turn side so we don't mind the black, mind the Yeah, are we okay here? Yeah. Are you ready? You count and I'll I'll talk. You ready? Let's go. I, oh, I knew you were gonna be stupid. Five. Nice and controlled. Drive. Good. Yeah. Breathe in on the way up. Boom. Out on the way down. Set. Seven. Acht. Nine. Zehn. How many is that? Eleven. Twelve. Good. Now we're, we're nice and controlled while we're doing it. I like to... I like to power it up and then control it down. So the power is coming on the up movement and then as you're coming down, you're keeping the muscle nice on the tension, but not all the way down. Sorry, I flicked my mic. Not all the way down, just to here. So the muscle stays on the tension. So you power it back up, nice and slowly back down. Yeah? Like it. I have arms like, like. Not arms, shoulders. Shoulders are like already. Fine. People always say, oh, I don't want to do loads of weights, I don't want to get really big. I'm not going to get really big. You're going to get toned. Now, I hate, I hate when people say toned. It doesn't really mean anything. But you're going to, this is going to help build muscle and um, cut fat. So you get, you get sculpted, a nice shape. But to grow lots of muscle and get really big, you need to eat loads of food. So if you're not eating loads of food while you're training, then you're not going to get really big. Let's go again. Wow. Two. Three. Four. Nice and intense on the way up. Five. Nice and controlled on the way down. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Uh, we're getting hurt now. Twelve. They're quite heavy as well tonight. They're only four and a half kilos. They feel really heavy. But. The amount of weight isn't necessarily everything. It doesn't have to be heavy, it has to be controlled. It has to put the muscle under tension, it has to exhaust the muscle. So as long as you're exhausting the muscle, you're okay. What are you doing? Having itch. Ah, okay. As long as you're exhausting the muscle, you're okay. See why we're doing 12 here, because these are quite light. If they're really heavy, you might only do six. Okay? Yeah, that's great then. Yeah, really good as well. Yeah. I was just thinking, are you, are you simply No. You're not? No. So you shouldn't really be instructing anyone? I'm not instructing anyone, I'm just counting. But I'm not instructing anyone right now, and I'm not getting paid for it, so I can't be classed as scam. I'm just in the gym exercising. I mean, I know a thing or two about exercise, and I'm sharing my knowledge with others. Oh, okay. Um, right, are you ready? Yeah. Yes. I didn't talk at all that whole set. But people can chat if they want. How's everyone going in the chat? Is everyone actually exercising? Hi, Baldi! Do you know that? She might not be there. No, she might not be. She might be. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell them in the live tonight. We're going to have this on tomorrow night and then they can come in and watch. Hi, uh, Linda. But you wait till, the, wait till the vlog drops on Thursday. Um, I'm sure I'll be accused of not having a license to have that music on on the vlog. I pay for it now. I pay, well, I, I don't pay for it until Thursday officially. So you can't use it till Thursday? No, I'm not going to use it. And you never use music? No. But next week in the live fitness, next week when we're doing this, oh, music. 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 Music makes the people. Can you sing that? Can you? Isaac was telling me, and he knows everything. The, yeah. You can use any song you want as long as you change the tempo of it, apparently. Music. Yeah. How many of these have we done? Three. Three sets? Last set of these done? 
Is everyone's shoulders nice and uh, loose nice and loose now? Loose you start to feel it in, in the, the front belt, which is the, the big round muscle on the top of the shoulder here. Mm. Learned that from online. Yeah, yeah Seth Rose. Mm. Are we ready? <laughs> no, because he's in America, so I'm sure that that's another one. Yeah. Well, that's one of the American. And then he said the S word then. Yeah. It rhymes with attackers. Oh. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. But I mean that's that's okay because they do attackers. He could say mm -hmm, attackers. They do. A lot. Are you ready? Yeah. You count, I'm gonna I'm gonna exercise. What? Nice and controlled. Two Power up. Cookies. Control down, not two cookies. Three cookies. <laughs> Oh, control. Five. Oh. Nice and controlled down. Seven. Power it up. Eight. Oh, oh, oh. Nine. And. <sighs> That's beginning to hurt a bit now. Wow. Good, nice. Side raises for the shoulders. That's what they're called. So, we're done with the. Um, we're done with the wide grip bicep curls and we're done with the shoulder side raises. Now we're going to go back into biceps and we're going to do hammer curls. So they're like this. Now, hang on. That one for this. Yeah, but you keep what you're doing is you're going here and then they just come there. One. Don't, no, 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 don't twist, keep your arms there and bring it so that it should, it should be like you're drumming, like you're eating your dinner, like this, look. So it should be like this, that kind of thing. Um, now, when we were doing biceps before, what I was saying was, you don't want to be swinging, because you see, you will see people doing this, if they're doing that, the way it's too heavy for them. With these, what you might see me doing a little bit, is I get into a bit of a rhythm with it. So, you see me bending my knees as I'm doing it. Now what I'm not doing, yeah, what I'm not doing is going, because that's cheating, but sometimes I like a little bounce. I might not do it straight away, but once you get into the rhythm, still using all bicep to curl it. I'm just getting rhythm, I don't know why. So we're going to do, we're going to do 12. Um, we're going to do 24 all together because it's 12 on each side. So we're going to count. You've got to pin them in. Um, no, because you're going to have them here. So you are bringing your arms in nice and tight here. And then just, are you ready? You're going to start counting. Oh, yeah. You're going to count 12, but you're going to do one, two. Yeah? Okay. You ready? Okay. Well, let's see if we can manage it. We're we pretty it? educated between us. We're we doing it coordinated, like left, right, left, right. Yeah, yeah. Or are you going to do left, hand, right, left, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, go on then, do it like that. Are you ready? I think we're going to do that way. What side do you start? I'm starting on my right. Okay, let's go. One. Two. Two. It's going to go wrong. Three. Four. Five. Six. Don't seven, twist your wrist as you're doing it. You should already have eight, them where they need to be. Nine. Ten. 11, 12. Nice. So this, you'll, you'll feel quite heavy on the forearms. It will build your forearms a little bit just because of the angle that you're at. And as you come to here, you'll put the tension in your forearm and up into your bicep there. Quite nice, I like, I do like these. We're gonna do another one. Another. We'll do three sets of these. These are, these are good. These are better than squats and abs. Yeah, but you're probably cheating a little bit with your weight. No, it's heavy. Is it heavy? Mm. Sure. My arms are like three inches longer than they were earlier. Okay. Are you ready? We're going to go again? Um, Can we show you the opposite this time? Yeah, opposite. So I'll go this one first. Okay. okay, remember when we're doing this, we're engaging the core, keeping everything nice and strong. Take the tension slightly. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12. Right, don't cock your wrists. We'll be like here. So bring your elbows forward a little bit more. So from here. And then you should just come straight up to there. You're kind of going, I don't even know what you're doing. You're kind of going like that and out a little bit. You should be here to the front. Like this look. Like you're looking at a cow. If don't cock your wrist, look how you've got your wrist cock, you're like that. Keep it there. I've got no strength in there. Don't cock your wrists, keep them nice and straight here. Like you're milking a cow. You're from Lincolnshire, you shouldn't have to milk a cow. I don't know how to milk a cow. Or did I just dox you then? <gasps> don't dox me. Doxing's illegal, isn't it? I don't want doxing. You're not from Lincolnshire anyway. No, I'm from the North East. From the Meadowell. I'm not really rough estate. Not there, no. I'm going to people from there. Right, are we ready? <laughs> I know. Well, what we're starting with? This side, you start with that side. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Go. One, two, ha, ha, ha. three, four, <gasps> five. Six, I don't feel like you're putting much effort seven. into yours. I think your weight needs to be heavier. If these are really yeah. easy, up your weight. Well. So we're doing four sets of these. You only need to do 12. We're doing four sets of these, 12 each. And when we talk about training in the gym and doing weight, people talk about optimum range. And what they say is, if you're looking at cutting, then up your weight, uh, sorry, up your reps and lower your weight. So you can do 12. If you're trying to bulk, then you should be looking at somewhere between eight and 10. Some people say six to eight if it's really heavy. But if you can eat, if you're trying to bulk, you can easily do 12, up, up your weight. So I always go for eight. Sometimes if I'm doing four sets, I'll do 12, 10, eight, eight. So make it quite heavy at 12. Um, and it all depends. Once you get training, once you get 20, 25 years of experience in the gym, no matter how many courses you've done, you'll get to feel what works and what's right and the little I call them nuances. I don't know nuances. if that's the right thing. Yeah. Like, so, so when you're a lot of people when they're doing um, cables, upper cables, will just curl upper cables like this. I like to twist my elbow, my, my wrists right out, and then twist them right in. So I'm getting a full range of motion on my wrist. It's just something I've learned that I, I feel it so much more in the top of my bicep if I do that. Mm -hmm. That's something that you won't learn in. College. Mm. Yes, yeah, okay. And I know you won't because I've done it. Yeah. Right, number set. How many of these have we done? Three. Three. This is the last one of these. Then, shall we go? Okay. You ready? One. Coordinate. Mm. Mm. I haven't been bouncing. I've never yeah. that. But when I do this, I like to yeah. use a bit of a bounce. I think it's because yeah. I'm trying to stay coordinated with you. Okay. I think I went ahead of you then. I normally like to do this a little bit more controlled. We're doing these quite fast. If I was doing these myself, it'd be more. You get to feel what, what, what you like and what works for you. I don't like them. You don't like them? No. Why not? Do they hurt? No, I don't know. No. I could tell. You don't think you're invested. You don't think it will. Well, your shoulders again. Mm. These are a lot more interesting than the look these. Are these Nope, these are the front ones. Oh, is that what it was? Right, okay, so now we're going to move on to front raises. We did front raises? We did, didn't we? Yeah. So we're in the same position we were in for the, the hammer curl. And this time, what we're doing is, as we raise and engage the core, absolutely, well done. Did you learn that? Where did you learn that? I didn't teach you it though, because I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a teacher. So I'm going to turn to the side, because when we're doing side raises, <laughs> you can you can just lift them out like this, and they're showing the camera. Oh, okay. But what we want to be doing is aiming to move your shoulders forward. See the difference? You could just be here or here, and that's where you want to be, is reaching forward, but not leaning forward. So you can watch my shoulders, watch. So I could just lift, you could just lift like that, or you can lift like that. And look at the difference. That's there, that's there. I'm not leaning forward, I'm activating the shoulders forward. You've got long muscles. 
So again, to the side here, could be here, but I'm going reaching forward. As if you're reaching for the wall, not there, reaching for the wall there. And that's the, that's the movement. And we're not going, core engaged. So you ready? I've just done about 12. No. Oh, look. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. I like it. That's good. These bombs are good nowadays. Are you ready? We'll do 12. Are you counting them? Yeah. Go. One. Two. Nice and controlled. Harold, just pause slightly at the top. Well, it's wider. Oh, oh. Not even to do. Where is it? Oh my god, it's a money spider. It's tiny. So I'm gonna do a couple more because I have to stop. So I like to do a little pause at the top and not all the way back down, so sort of 90% of the way down. Pause here and back down. Pause and back down. And if you pause at the top, you'll feel it in the front belt there. Which is the muscle we worked before. All good? Yeah. No break in between. 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Just depends on um, how much time you've got. Give your muscle a little bit of time to um, a little bit of time to recover. You can put your microphone back on. Mm -hmm. I've got to edit all this tonight, yeah? I've got to find time somewhere for an hour's editing. I enjoyed our, our live last night. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? The yeah. live last night was really good. This one, Michael, what did we talk about again? Um, all sorts of interesting things, wasn't it? Okay. Very, yeah, yeah. Are we ready? Go. You're not counting? In my head. Three. Well, that's not much good for me, is it? <laughs> Come on, you're not worried. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. You can do these exercises with no weight if you want. It's still movement. You're not going to build much muscle with it, but it is still movement. Just got a little bit of weight in your hands. Hold some, you know what, smartest tubes filled with 20 P's. I was thinking of some of them might be thin and heavy. Who's just got smartest tubes kicking around? Oh, he's just got you know, like a, a thing of ketchup. Ketchup? Ketchup bottles, just as good. Anything that's a bit heavy, people get fixated on having to buy weights, but weight is just weight. Kilo weighs a kilo, whether it's a kilo of sugar, sugar or a kilo of flour or whatever. Feathers. A kilo, kilo of feathers would be hard to lift though, wouldn't it? No. Yeah, it would because it would be limited then. Oh yeah, I suppose you'd have to have like a big pillar. Yeah, you know, a huge <laughs> pillar. Come you'd have to get one of them Hoover bags and compress it right down, suck all the air out. It's a bit of a pain in the arse. It's a bit of a pain in the arse, isn't it? You better off ordering yourself some dumbbells. In fact, I'll put a link. If someone wants to order some dumbbells from Amazon, I'll put a link in the description um, and see which ones you can get. Is it affiliated? Might be. Is that a problem? I don't think so. Yeah. I might be getting a kickback from someone's buddy. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> buddy. Who knows? A spider's on me now. Are you ready? You count. One, two, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cause engage, remember? Ten, four, all the time. Eleven. Nice little pause at the top. Twelve. Nice. Feeling them actually. Feeling them a bit. Might not be off to train shoulders tomorrow. Or Monday today. I might not have train shoulders today. Oh, well, it's because we did it earlier in the day. Oh, excuse me. Hi, am I boring you? Yeah. How's everyone getting on? People training, people going to train, has anyone got any questions? Don't forget, you can ask us questions in the chat because we're going to be in the chat. Um, ask us a question. Ask away. It's always good to see everyone in the chat. So next week, we're going to be a bit more organised. Yes. Not so organised this week. Um, but I think next week we'll probably do... Yeah, I might do more aerobic yeah, stuff. Yeah, you're away. Can't say where. Oh yeah, how are you? Excuse me, you're Exactly, you're back Sunday, and then we're in church Sunday. Yeah, we might struggle, might we? 
Much record something one night in the week. Yeah, we'll check Sunday and then work. Yeah. Could probably record on Wednesday night then. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. That's one of these. One, two, three, four, okay. five. Nice and intense. Six. Core engaged. Seven. Move with eight, purpose. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Nice. I might get Goldie to teach me how to count. Twelve in Hungarian. Might you? Romanian and Hungarian. She speaks several languages. Is she? Well. Right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go on to biceps. Back on the biceps, we need to get these done, we've got a great deal of time. Okay, okay. So close grip biceps. Close grip like Turn the in slightly. There you go. Put your arms out. Take the tension. And then curl. Twelve. Three. Four. Four. Nice and controlled. Four. Five. Yeah, I know, yeah. Six. Back to the biceps now. Eight. Nine. Ten. Four. Eight. Twelve. Good, nice. Now a few seconds rest, not too long because we're running out of time. And the round twelve, let's go. Nice and controlled still though, we're not rushing. We're still keeping it under tension. Three. Squeezing the muscle at the top, letting it stretch Four. out at the bottom. Five. Six. Core still engaged. Good. I might get this in this far though. Must be a con there somewhere. Are you ready? Yeah. One, One. Two. Three. I think it's very sad and pathetic Four. that some people Five. are so jealous of what you do, they have to spend their entire Seven. life trying to burn you down. Three. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. One more set of them, and then we're going to move into shoulders. I say, I say, God bless you. God bless you. Because I bless you. Because my attention goes and makes them grow. Just... What you put your energy on? What do you feel? That dog area. You used to do that as a kid. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You used to do that. I think it's more like a nettle sting. I mean, when you concentrate on it, it's annoying. Yeah, yeah. You don't really bother it. You can kind of get on the rest of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Really? Really? No yeah. more attention on that, though. Two. Three. I'm putting my attention Four. on bettering Five. ourselves, becoming Six. the best versions we can. Seven, Achieving every goal that we set out eight, to achieve. Nine. Ten. Don't rock. Eleven. Twelve. Good. Rock, 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 We straight to shoulders because we're really out of time. We've got nine minutes to do four sets of shoulders. You do that. No, no, no. We've got nine minutes. Don't give in. Don't give in. We're going to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the arm roll press style. And we're going to do 12. Arnold press style because it was a press that Arnie used to do. So you start with the weights at the front, 90 degree angle here, and then we're just powering them up. We're doing 12. You ready? Two, three. Not, not all the way up, not knocking your elbow, so you're keeping them under tension and not coming down to rest. So you're keeping it under tension all the time. Oh. <laughs> 11, 12. I like these. And if you're doing seated shoulder press, so I'm finding these. Yeah, you can, you can be seated and do it. Most people do be. Most people are seated when they do shoulder press. Um, but if you're seated, so if I'm seated, I can do 30 kilos, or 60s, uh, 30 kilos each side. These are four and a half standing, and I'm doing 12, and I can feel the, the fatigue in the muscle. Obviously, it's a lot harder. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. And be safe when they're in the gym. Yeah. Make sure they're working with someone registered. No, it is important though, because a lot of people out there that just say they are like um, qualified, and then like seven. Doesn't, 
Have direct Nine, supplies, and it could be wrong, and it could ten, be could be unsafe. Isn't it? Eleven. So people should make sure that people twelve. And whoever they're hiring is credentialed, and that they are disqualified. Yeah, equally, you shouldn't listen just to idiots online who don't like someone, so they say, "Oh, look at him, he's a snake oil salesman." Snake oil? What's snake oil? Well, it's in the Wild West. We're not in the world, I know we're not. We're not in the real world in most days. Snake oil? Yeah. What? Snake oil? Yeah. Snake oil? Yeah. Snake oil? Yeah. Yeah. They're in the Wild West. They used to have the, 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 um, the doctors that would travel around trying to sell remedies to people to oh, cure yeah, them. Like Dr. Doctor, Dr. Doctor? Like Dr. Um, Schultz in Django Unchained. And, but, um, like um, the song Jesse James. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly like that. And then one of the things they would sell was snake oil because that was something that could cure all kinds of diseases. How do you get oil out of a snake? So now what they do is, not when someone sells something that's a fake product, people call it snake oil. Mm. Um, but I don't sell real products that allow fake ones. Let's go, are you ready? You're doing 12. One, <laughs> two, <coughs> three, four, Ah, these are getting heavy now. Last one is this. We've got one more of them. Can't remember. They're heavy now. Let's have a little time there, that'll tell me whether we've done four. No, very good two. So last one. Last one, then we can wrap this up. One more exercise. So if you're watching this on catch up or you're watching it after we've done this, it's the last one of these exercises. Um, and that's a, it's not a really full in depth shoulder and bicep workout, but it is enough if you're a beginner to start feeling it. You will feel it in your biceps tomorrow. So uh, make sure that you do the stretching off. Make sure you cool down so you can always skip back to the sofa. What I might do is I might just put at the end, I might just put the stretches at the end again. So if you want to go through the stretches we did at the start, you don't have to skip the video back. Clever. Ah, it's not a bad idea, is it? Yeah, clever. That's what you get for having a good, 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 good um, editing software. Yeah. Wow, good. Cost me a lot of money that this no, weekend. Maybe you ought to go flat. No, I think. Oops. Oh, doesn't matter. You ready? Last one. Last one. One. Nice and controlled. Keep it all in the gym. that workout today I'm going to skip back so we're going to do the cool down um, so you can do all the stretches um, back to what we did at the start and then you only need to do the upper body ones um, and then we'll see after you've done the stretching. So we only really need to warm up the upper body. Okay. Don't really need to do too much else. None of this. None of that. None of the twisting and turning today. No we're, just, we're just going to get the blood rotating in the arms so we're just going to move the arms and what we're going to do with the workout today we'll do um, a bit of shoulders, uh, a bit of biceps, and a bit of triceps. So um, arms and shoulders. So we're just going to rotate just to make sure we've got a little bit of um, blood pumping into our arms. So just rotate along with us. Did we just bend knuckle or something? <laughs> we did, didn't we? We didn't mean to. Hope everyone's had a good Monday. Um, let us know in the chat how you're feeling, how you're getting on, because we are in the chat, or one of us is in the chat. I might be in the chat. I don't know. It depends on this guy shows up or not. Just one at a time. Nice and loose. Um, they didn't teach me these warm-ups when I did my level one and level two certificates. Now we already knew these because I've got 25 years experience working in gym huh? and doing exercise. So I kind of know... Hold it? What? Hold it? I like to feel the muscle moving, I like to feel the movement, I like to know that if I'm if I'm lifting here I know what muscles activating so when I'm training my, my muscles later I'll know. It's stuff you pick up when you've got 25 years experience working in gym and fitness industry, not just going to college for two years to get a certificate. One of the things that you find out. So, we're just going to do some crossovers. Stretch those shoulder blades at the back there, forward and back. Now, when we're training muscles, 
this stuff's all right. And you'll see people doing this before they go into the lift the weights and rotating their shoulders. And it's all good. So just rotate your shoulders. You're getting blood into the muscles and we're getting moving. Um, and we are going to stretch off. So you want blood in the muscles before you stretch off. Um, we've talked about this before. So it's like the, um, I like to twist my wrists a little bit as well. Um, just because if we're going to be lifting weight, I say heavy weight, but heavy weight relative to you. So my heavy weight might be different to your heavy weight. Um, and I just think that, use the analogy before of um, blue tack. If blue tack's not warm and you pull it, it snaps. If blue tack's nice and warm, if you stretch it off first, uh, sorry, warm up first and then stretch it off, it goes elastic. Your muscles are a bit like that. So if you try and stretch them while they're cold, you might ping a muscle. Um, so we're just going to start off with nice and high up in the air and then hand it down the middle of your back. Keep your chin off your chest, hand on your elbow and just push your hand down to the middle of the back. And what you're doing here is you're feeling the stretch down the back of the arm, the, the small three headed muscle, which is the tricep, um, lateral head, long head and medial head. I nearly forgot then. Um, I'll be accused of not being a PT. Reach up nice and high, swap over. Chin off your chest, hand down the middle of your back, hand on your elbow. Stay pointing forwards. Stretching off the tricep, small muscle at the back of your arm. Tricep, try three, because it's got three parts of it, the long head, the lateral head, and the medial head. Stretch up nice and high. Then we're just gonna come across the body for a shoulder stretch. Now when you're doing this, above the elbow, is where you're pulling it in, keeping the arm locked so it's straight pulling it into the chest. You don't twist your body as you do it. Keep yourself nice and strong. Do my knee click then. That was my knee. Oh. And shake that shoulder off. Oh, and on the side, so we're just stretching the shoulders here, across the back of the shoulder. Now this is, a, this is harder for me to do, and it's harder sometimes for women to do as well. Like if, you, if you're only here with it, it can be quite difficult. Go on, both your boobies and sit on top like that. Don't teach you that in college. Yeah. And shake it off. So we are just going to rotate the hips a little bit just because we've got to keep the core strong when we're doing these exercises. Everything we do, we keep the core engaged. When we're curling, when we're doing tricep movements, when we're doing shoulder movements, core's engaged all the time. So we're just going to loosen off the hips a little bit so we've got their movement. Nice. We're like, we don't really need to do this. I just like to watch you doing it. Excellent. And then just let your body hang just a little bit. Stretching the back off a little bit. We're going to stretch the abs off a little bit just because you do use your core for a lot of stuff that you do. That's why you should try and keep your core nice and strong. Roll you back up. Hope everyone's doing well in the chat. Let us know how your Monday's been. What you've been up to if you've set any goals. You've had your intentions set for the week. I've got my intentions for the week. Have you got your intentions for the week? Yes. Yes. Some good intentions for this week. Yeah. In the Citadel, with our ranged weapons. <laughs> Arch you back up. Come up nice and straight. Nice. So I take your hips again. Loosened off a little bit now. Okay, so that's the warm up. That's just to get stretched off a little bit. But... So all the stretching's done, all the exercising's done. Done everything we need to. Nice little workout, shoulders and biceps. We'll come back next week. We're probably going to do um, abs, abs and legs. I might do a what bum's about legs. Like uh, their legs. What? Yeah, their legs. The inside. You know the things that hang off your hips? Yeah, they don't hang. Well, they would if you were like hanging. I don't want to hang. No, you don't want to hang. Um, we're going to do, we might do bum, bum's legs and tums next week. Bum's legs and tums. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So. Thank you. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you've given it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Um, and we will see you for the vlog. The, the new vlog that is dropping. It's really good. I, I'm so impressed with this vlog. If I drop it and it flops. You've spent loads of time. I've spent loads of time. i spent loads of money as well investing in new stuff. Um, so hopefully this vlog is going to absolutely ace it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's not the end of the world. So we will... See you in the vlog on Thursday. Achieving goals. Cheers, life.